I took on the hardest ultimate challenge in all of trading card games because clinical depression and also I hate myself. In order to celebrate my birthday, kind of, and the uh, Spanish army occupying Vagdonk, I thought it would be appropriate to take part in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Duelist Cup. I stayed up for 72 hours straight, kind of. I slept a little, a lot actually. What am I, some kind of nerd? In order to obtain the highest accolade and most prestigious open achievement to the public, an international online event featuring people from all over the world, even the French, all to earn a spot at the world championship. A 72 hour grind fest in a multiplayer video game is the single best system ever conceived. There is physically just no other alternative. Even from a medical perspective, I actually cannot see anything that could possibly go wrong. My tournament went extremely well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Jesse is asleep and I'm enjoying his stream more than this. <laughs> oh yeah, good content. Nah. <laughs> For the uninitiated, the Duelist Cup is a two-stage event which begins at level 1 and ends at D-level 20. Qualifying for stage 2 is in and of itself quite the achievement as it requires you to have the skill capacity of at least a highly intelligent orangutan or a math mech one trick. After bullying multiple generations of children on my way to the finals, we began the three-day, 72-hour-long onslaught of watching furries cosplay their favorite archetype. At 4 a.m. British time, I took the play of allegiance to our king and began our journey bright where things went <laughs> so just mega outplayed so all right let's uh let's dip on this one zero three boys <laughs> Good! Thank you! Tiaram at strongest. Starting out with a score of 0 and 6, which is almost as good as my Burning Abyss record on stream. On paper, that sounds bad, but I was conserving my power and utilizing a powerful strategy. It's impossible to lose rating if you don't have any in the first place. I should probably talk about my strategy for this event since it was proving to be performing oh so well. I decided to bring to the highest level of Yu-Gi-Oh competition on Master Duel, Tier Limits, a deck that's been nerfed more times than content creators keep getting banned for. How was I convinced of this strategy? I formally apologize for saying wrong information. I am intoxicated. <laughs> And now, to be fair, it wasn't all that bad because, you know, tier elements have its moments. Alright, we desperately need to mill a tier or cash here. Oh my god, we milled all of them! <laughs> After a while, it became clear that perhaps this was not the greatest idea and things got so bad, we started losing to decks that even MBT considers playable. This is the bracket I'm in! This is my skill level! Th this is my skill level! This is my ELO rating I'm being paired at! 50 card hero players! And I'm going to lose! We had to make a judgement call because playing Yu-Gi-Oh with a deck that's the equivalent of trying to perform heart surgery with a boxing glove for 72 hours was going to get me a restraining order instead of a world's invite. And for the record, uh, I wasn't the only one getting a little bit frustrated by this event. Dude, uh, who the fuck designed Circular? Whoa. It was <laughs> Woman armpit. Trap card superior. Eliminate all political opponents. Would this strategy work? Could I simply rely on thick milk mommy sniff- one hour and 29 minutes into the grind, hope was still there as I paired up against a reigning Duelist Cup champion from Japan. Is that Tasku? Wait, there's no shot, is it? Am I actually playing against Task? There's no way. He has the world's icon? Bro, is it- f I'm playing against Task? Now I'm nervous. Could like stand by this just to play around Thrust. Because this is definitely going to happen regardless. This really pisses me off that this thing isn't working here. There's no fucking shot. Gamma, that's crazy. We just, uh, Stovey Torby. Damn. I was playing around Thrust and instead I lost to Gamma. Normal summon Rhysar. I think we just Daruma this, right? This, no, this turns off Theosis and Burf doesn't have a normal summon? Uh, that's very nice. Special Torby. We could go for a Muckraker to bring back Lady, set the Daruma Cannon. Bring back Lovely, but uh, we get the Daruma Cannon back, which is really important. It's fine. Theosis! Guess we just reset Daruma. I guess we just clear this now. Bounce the Arise Heart just to hit Arise Heart out of the hand potentially is, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Alright, this is where the Floodgates open now. He's probably gonna go Unicorn plus, like, Fenrir, Theosis, Birth, blah blah blah. There it is. So the only ways to extend here is with 
exactly Earth or Theosis. Normal summon Ash Blossom. That is crazy. Bounce the Unicorn into his hand here. Trigger the Lovely. <laughs> Bro, I just beat Task. All hope was not lost because if I can beat a Duelist Cup champion... Yeah, no, I just did a 24-hour marathon playing a rogue deck in what was essentially the gold rank of top tables. I had to call in an expert. I needed the assistance of seasoned, qualified veterans. By using the power of my clout and micro-celebrity status in a dead niche game, I reached out to the reigning world champion. Hello? Oh my god, yes, I love Ray. So, I would sorry, die I, I, for I Sky the Striker guy. Ace. Yeah, okay, oh, the, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I was given the keys to the palace and handed the golden ticket. The secret, thanks to world champion Quantal and world's competitor Herman Hansen. The answer, all along, was in the Dargans. Seals Pass has never ever lost a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Here is some of the best and funniest moments of my 72 hour grind. Enjoy. Day two, three is when it gets important. What the fuck would you know? Third place loser? Had to beg to get an invite? What the hell are you talking about? Day two, what do you know? Quantal, my streamer talks exage. There's no one I love more than Quantal chat. He is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh subscriber. I quit eight hours ago and I have more DP than you. <laughs> Man, wow, champ def, dude. <laughs> Roar Coloss is playing in the uh, MBT locals. That's a lot of kick colosses on our screen hiding our thing. Wait, I don't understand. This doesn't hide anything. There's literally pop-ups that tell you what cards you have in your hand. Like, it shows up on the left here. Can, can we just talk about... No, 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 no. We need to talk about Roar Coloss's priorities here. She dreamed the world's grind. She was rank one. Rank one for the entire day. She was rank one in the world's grind, and she streamed with no delay and didn't hide her hand. But in MBT's locals, she hides her hand. Do you know what's gonna be so funny? He's gonna be sitting there like, after I drop the third interruption, the second bestial, on his splash mage. He's just gonna start being like, freaking Dragon Link player, broken ass six hand trap. And it's like, brother, you're playing math mech. He's sitting there like, posting on the cyber subreddit like, I think splash mage shouldn't target. This card should not have any targets. Oh. <laughs> That's an earth monster. <laughs> that was uh that was an unfortunate series of events. Oh god. All right. We're not going to stand by this. Hopefully we can force him to do something in the draw phase. Uh, sorry, the main phase. Then we can talents take maybe. Try and go for a Zeus line is like feels like the only possible play here. Sphere mode beats it. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have to like sphere mode. Sphere mode would beat this, yes, true. In this thing, all in the standby phase, plays around talents, very nice. Oh, Maxi, okay, nice. Do you know what it's insane? I need every single card in my hand. That's the line, there's no other way to like play through this. Dream effect, add a Sulek. Kaiju, figure the field spell, I guess. Activate the pearly. Alan's take, hack this thing. In phase two, just the board. Activate Scream. Absolutely pray that we hit something off of this. Banish a Crime Retrieve's trap cards. Mill six, get it twisted. You will win. You will win. You will win. Nothing yet. Our side. Attempt to draw. Draw something. Fenrir. That's not good enough. We can set Sulik and pass, or we can set Sulik, Zeus our own field, mill to add one, normal rhino, rhino send, mill, or do we just pass like this? Or do we just pass like this? Twitch chat's going to worlds, boys. We're passing. That's nice. All right, what do we think? Do we negate Sulik on just any pearly? Do we wait for him to attempt to rank up? If this gets street, this is really bad. Happy, happy, and black cat. Okay, interesting choices. He has to summon a monster just to trigger our scream. Discards the Rainbow Bridge. Oh my god, that's insane. Do we negate this? Well, first of all, I think we scream. That's the problem. He gets Street next. Actually, wait, hang on. I think this trap card is dead. He, he has a Crystal Beast in the graveyard. I actually think he doesn't get it. He can't search. Let's see if we can hit anything nice off of Scream. 
Chiron! Oh my god, we can summon Winda. We could go kick a loss into Winda. Effect. Do not add. Send. Haveness. Amazon. Dude, we don't care. If he wants to summon Amina, that's the end of the game. Windows online. That was the best possible hand. We drew a six-card combo that outs that perfect uh, six-card combo of his, five-card combo of his. That is insane. Can we do it? Is this actually it? Okay, he's activating Pearly to attempt to special. Do we let this resolve or do we negate this? Attempt to special summon. What could he have in hand here? I think he's got a happy. I think we let this resolve. Then he's just locked. This is his la This is his only special summon. What can he do? He's gonna go pretty. He's gonna attempt to try and negate Winda. We just chain Sulik, negate the pretty. He doesn't have street, so we're fine. He's trying to suck our Winda. We chain Sulik. Now he negates Winda. Okay, that's actually kind of cringe. We should have just negated the, uh, what's it called? Oh man, that thing's broken. Wait, this is, like, kind of bad. We do have an emergency meeting for Zeus here. Okay, he's got Pearl Lily. Do we just let him go into Plump here? And then Zeus the Plump? No Zeus. We sus! Okay, we sus then. That was his normal summon. He's still got three cards in hand, though. I, I feel like this is so dangerous. Bro, how is this game coming down to the wire, man? Alright, we just need to hit a snow here. That's why we're doing all this deck thinning. Snow! That's the end of the game. Bro, it only took us... 35 mils or something. 20, 26 mils to hit one of our two snow. Anything he summons here, we just book. I think we wait and see if he hits something. A yeep? Okay, we book this. Hang on, he's already used this. This doesn't do anything. Let's go! Oh my god! 